In mathematical logic and computer science, the lambda mu calculus is an extension of the lambda calculus, and was introduced by M. Paragat. It introduces two new operators, the mu operator and the bracket operator. Proof theoretically, it provides a well-behaved formulation of classical natural deduction. One of the main goals of this extended calculus is to be able to describe expressions corresponding to theorems in classical logic. According to the Curry-Howard isomorphism, lambda calculus on its own can express theorems in intuitionistic logic only and several classical logical theorems can't be written at all. However with these new operators one is able to write terms that have the type of for example Pierce's law. Semantically these operators correspond to continuations found in some functional programming languages. Formal definition we can augment the definition of a lambda expression to gain one in the context of lambda mu calculus. The three main expressions found in lambda calculus are as follows. V, a variable, where V is any identifier. Lambda V, e, an abstraction, where V is any identifier and E is any lambda expression. An application, where E and E are any lambda expressions. For details, see the corresponding article. In addition to the traditional lambda variables, the lambda mu calculus includes a distinct set of mu variables. These mu variables can be used to name or freeze arbitrary subtims, allowing us to later abstract on those names. The set of terms contains unnamed and named terms. The terms that are added by the lambda mu calculus are of the form alpha t is a named term, where alpha is a mu variable and t is an unnamed term. Is an unnamed term, where alpha is a mu variable and e is a named term. Reduction. The basic reduction rules used in the lambda mu calculus are the following. These rules cause the calculus to be confluent. Further reduction rules could be added to provide us with a stronger notion of normal form, though this would be at the expense of confluence.